the Shedders' view this week could be described as bittersweet. Amidst the rigorous workout routines, the detox program taking its toll and adjusting to living with people from different walks of life, it definitely is an emotional roller coaster. But first, the Shedders received their task Hello, by Three Crowns Milk. So I have some information from our proud sponsors from Three Crowns. Um, it's an activity that you're going to be engaging in till the end of the show. It's called the Crown Challenge, right? So there's a theme song by Three Crowns, right? And every time the song comes on, you are supposed to find the crown. When we heard the music, come and see run. Me, I was thinking I could not run. Come and see race. I don't think I'm even running the race or heavenly race like that. So. It was uh, taxing, and I like that we had to put our brain to use. So it's not like exercise because I was sweating, looking for the crown. And the truth is, I got crown. <laughs> It was, it was after the Three Crown theme song went off, but there was still music in the background when me and saw my own crown. But it's not. So indeed, our first tax today from our sponsors, Three Crowns, and I made the winner with these two crowns, and I'm so excited. She know they take my Oh boy. <laughs> I was almost the first person that I entered to go and look for the crown, the three crown, crown. But unfortunately, huh, I was looking at the same place I was going to. People were still seeing crowns. Nah, tire me, Jerry. It was all really exciting. Everybody was just running up and down, helter skelter, looking for the crown. And so some of us got a crown and some of us didn't. I'm still glad. Mm. But we still have three left in the house and I have to, you know, buckle up and look for um, any of the three left in the house. Initially, one person had found one crown and we didn't even know there were multiple crowns to find. So I guess it was my luck, I found one. Choma, you are the winner of this week's, yes, your rewards and everything will be communicated to you. My son name me well-known king and I'm wearing two crowns so I'm the well-known king for today. I know there will be more challenges from three crowns and I hope or oh, I know that I will. This one alone is making me happy. It was something I achieved so it is my own. I collect it in my full chest. When the tax started, I thought it was just one crown. When Chido found the crown, and I was like, okay. I was dancing and enjoying the music too. When Sheldon came and said, ah, we have not started anything. And I didn't get anyone. With so much happening at the same time, the Shedders get a moment to unburden to their ally in their first official chat. How's, the, how's your time in the house been? Ah, I'm missing home. I'm missing my children, my husband. Emotions are everywhere. She understands a lot from where I'm coming from, but she gave me words of encouragement how I'll keep pushing and going on with the competition and the rest. So it was really a nice day and a relaxed moment for me. I know the first week I had that, I want to go home, I want to go home, I want to go home. And this week, it started to get better. I started to do things I didn't think I could do. It was nice to talk with her and relieve some of the things you think you can't talk to your housemates, to my fellow housemates. So now, the, the, to be honest, we are all just in this to lose weight. Talking to her made me, um, should I say, it made me more confident of the fact that, yes, I want to do this. I'm sleeping better. Okay. Uh, no, no, less, no. So it's reduced. We had an ally today who came in to talk to us and just, you know, be with us and make us feel like we are really going strong and doing well. Remember, remember we are going to walk out with Shedams. 
That's the only thing that bothers me. <laughs> the fear that will grip me, but I, I yes, as of yesterday, I had to tell myself, this is the reason why you're here. So whatever it is, you have to face it. She was so friendly and so accommodating, and it made me to feel at home that where I am is a place I'm being welcome. I feel so warm. I wouldn't like. You're not ready to go. She was, you know, friendly. We smiled, and you know. Just like friends. When every, nobody has died, we, we continue pushing. <laughs> because at the end of the day, it's what? Well, go hard or what? Go home. With her, I, I, I was at home. So, here are two options. Go home to your dad or stay here. And I chose the latter, which is staying in the house and finishing what I started. I want to go home. That's a first? Yes. You're ready to stop the competition and go home? Yes, of course. All up to before I met her, I'd given up. I just wanted to go home. But, um, you know, she kind of said some words and I'm thinking about it. I've not made up my mind yet whether I still want to stay back. But let's see how it goes. And here's Coach and Kane to take them on a much needed Zumba class. Dance is my, is, is a, is, is my favorite of all. <laughs> You know, he gave me the thank God it's Friday feeling, all the ah. Just small thing like this, I would have missed it because of my health. Bounce. Hello, Shadows. So this is officially your first three crowns task in the house, outdoor. Okay, and we're going to be playing a game. It's supposed to be a very fun one. So I'm just going to have you pick a group first and then I'll tell you the rules of the game. Okay, doc. So when I leave this place, the game begins. Remember the rules of the game. This game can end before it starts. I'm all for it and I wish you all the best. got a chance to play ball. Uh, it was short, but it was nice. You're out of the game. I got to pull you out of the game. Thank you. All right, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. That's a good catch. Okay, dokie. In my team, the first person that left was a case of when you dig a hole for your, for your enemy and then you now slide into the hole. So one of my team members threw the ball to another of my team member and that was it. We lost one member and that was how all of us just fell out one, 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 one. And you were out of the game. Thank you, Mary Uche. All right, number three, you're out of the game. Keep it, keep it, keep it fast. All right, who had the ball? You are out. Thank you. Um, one of my team members threw a game at our fellow team member and she lost. So we became three. Before you knew it, we came to, we became just me. And it was not easy because they kept throwing the ball at me when I'm trying to catch my breath. And before you knew it, the third, game, the third ball they threw at me, I couldn't catch it. All of you are the same team? Yeah. Okay, okay, so what team is this? Team two. two. Okay, dokie, okay, so yeah. a round of applause for our team too. Oh, my team lost, so I'm unhappy. So on behalf of Three Crowns, you've won yourself a very nice basket with undisclosed items for y'all alone and movie tickets to the cinema. Exciting! Seriously, we are really grateful for this opportunity. Three crowns. We want to say thank you. 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 Thank
This week experiences an unexpected twist as we witness our very first voluntary exit of the season. So Elizabeth, please step forward. And so please confirm that you have stated for personal reasons that you want to withdraw from the fastest season four. Um, my name is Elizabeth I was a contestant on Fastest Shedder Season 4, but at this point, for personal reasons, I want to withdraw from the competition. I wasn't forced, I wasn't coerced, I just want to do it for personal reasons. That's why I'm leaving. Right, any final words you would like to say? To um, this, this feels like family and... Um, It's been a long one. I I met friends. I met family. I even call someone mama. There were times where I cried, and I was held. And I haven't gotten that in a very long time. So at this point, I I gained more than I've lost. I gained friendship. I gained sisters. I gained coaches that felt. Oh, you just have to do it. Um, Shedan is one of the most brutal people I've met. If I, I cannot not complete the workout, if I just have to do it. G Fitness, I don't look forward to seeing him every day. Because <laughs> the kettlebell is the kettlebell is so annoying, and there are times where I feel like I just fling it. And not bring it upstairs. To ascertain um, the level of impact um, season four has had on you in your 12 day journey here at the fastest shelter season four, we would want to have you climb the scale and see how much of a difference we've made in your life. So please step on the scale and look forward, hands down. Alright, when you came into the Pastor Shedder, you had a start weight of 128.1. As at this time of you leaving the house after 12 days, you currently weigh 118.9. <laughs> If you had stayed longer, it could have been more. But unfortunately, your journey ends here. It's very sad watching one of us leave. And it feels like some part of us is leaving as well. Um, today, today's workout was based on Elizabeth leaving. I call her Liz. Eliza, I'll miss you, seriously. I was able to push because we are doing it for you. That's what Coach Benga said. I'll miss her. Uh, I'll miss the midnight talks we used to have. That 10 kg you did, that was all you. Like I told you, as you move on, be intentional with your life. The fastest cheddar. Go hard or go home. Probably sponsored by Three Crowns Milk. Healthy moms, happy families.